a very good evening to one and all in this beautiful one week long webinar series and training which is at a national platform and which and holding with match skills and all the participants to look into many aspects which will culminate and empower you to be an online teacher with your system of enrollment of putting up a school college institute presence with your assessment assignments grading and finally the certification generation and with a good video content coming up for you one and all complete package with math skills at the onset may i request all of us to kindly rise thank you welcome welcome once again to initiate the version 2 and the series 2 of our online complete package one and all empowering all the participants to set up their online school lms system to conduct their teaching online to the complete setup of creating great on tent and announcements exams and the certificate generation i promise you at the end of this whole one week you all will say wow i can really teach her i can have all the systems in place and i can roll out from the moment we complete our training provided you have have been days you have been doing exactly what we have been going to be requesting you there's a protocol which will tell you at the end of the meeting but now starting off start from max skill team to start of the day with you today and the session for today is on zoom zoom as you know all of you if not all have been very conversant as this is a platform which is a, a online medium as many other platforms are where we takes the webinars and whether uh, we are teaching our students or we have a meeting with a principal with our peers or we have a conference i we conducted uh, i and my team recently finished two conferences one on a national platform national at a india level and one on an inter we were part we were conducting the conference with usa with with switzerland with bangkok thailand and india four of four countries is one day online conference so well these are the beautiful things that can happen while we say pandemic has hit us it has also brought us 
uh, changes in our life, provided we are ready to take the challenges. So moving on, we are going to have, as we promised, your hands-on training. So let all of you, if not everybody, has some device with you handy, whether it's a phone, uh, which is an iPhone or Android or whichever, or maybe a tablet or a laptop. The experience is more or less going to be similar. And our effort is going to be for all the those tools, which are almost completely available free of cost. We wouldn't want any of the participants here to see more thousands and plus thousands and much more money to get the tools and get rolling. Our attempt is completely to give you complete control on free tools. So we are going to talk only on those tools very light. Where most of the time, those, the versions is that what we are going to talk about. Schools, there always will be a paid version with higher features as part of it on a premium level. But promise you that even on the you can do all the functional possibilities that is required for you to do a, a run the show completely and right. So please be ready with your device and I'm going to share my screen and uh, we will tell later what is shared the screen that is also a part of the so right now let's I will will start as if we'll, we'll take it as a, a premise that let's say we do not know Zoom. So we'll start from that end. If we do not know Zoom, and we are going to see how we are going to register, how we are going to enter Zoom. So considering we are doing it for the first time, that's what we uh, So here I am sharing my screen and be ready with your screen. And those of you who may not want to do it along with the hands-on training doing, the few who do not want to for now can keep on writing the steps as we go by. That's my uh, request to you. Right. I'm sharing my screen and soon you will uh, see what I'm entering my Chrome button. So we all know we have in our uh, mobiles or in our uh, or in our laptop or device we have something as a as a, as a thing which is being enabled either Chrome or browser or, and Google or Safari some browser right so we have one browser so what have done in a browser you can enter any one of them chrome safari google and we write over there zoom so open the site zoom in the url in the room as i am writing here i'm writing right in front of you zoom it says zoom.us and you can please hit on it hit on that what it opens up as i would request all of you to Please. One second. All right. I would follow you. This is my, uh, if you can see this cursor with the red, red thing, please follow my cursor. Most of the time this remains active. So wherever you need to follow with your eyes on this cursor and do the same thing what I'm, uh, I'm doing and you will be with us completely. So what I've done on my browser, and this is the page that you open up. So when we open up on this, what it shows us that we have something as a page, and on the home page we have um, we have solutions, plans, pricing, contact, sales, join a meeting, all those things. Just a second, um, hide those panel. Okay, just a second. What it helps, helps us to do is we look into this and I'm just getting my spot and catch the spotlight. It just got switched off. It's back here. So when you do this, you will see there are a lot of things that are on the offer. So let's see uh, uh, what. So the Zoom gives us a lot of plans and pricing. Let's tap on the word on the desktop thing, plans and pricing, and open the up in a more walk through that to get your understanding that this there is a basic free plan as we promised we are going to look into the basic free tool for you so here it is basic brings us to so basic can enable a free meeting completely free absolutely no expenditure for 
a participant, it, it claims to take 100 participants, but uh, they say they to take it to 100 participants, but definitely 50, 60 can be accommodated and it is full on for 40 minutes duration. Complete 40 minutes of yours, whether you are one to one, whether you are meeting with your, whether you are doing remedial coaching, that is on one to one basis or one to many, or you're doing a full classroom with 120 students, six students or as many. You could be a teacher in a, uh, in a kindergarten, you could be a teacher in grade three, grade five, grade eight, 10, 12, junior college, or at the university level, you could be a teacher teaching music or cooking for that for that matter, or, 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 or painting, or whichever or choice. But completely 40 minutes is yours, free of cost with almost, they claim 100, but because the bandwidth definitely gets good. I have experienced myself 40 to 50, easy at any point of time with a decent network, we can conduct a free meeting. Apart from that, versions which are paid version as this you as you see plan one two three you can pick up any one of them would you require if you are going on a very have thousand participants that you have a big webinar and a big uh, big conference and you have thousand participants then probably you can pick up uh, 14 dollar and you can add participants this is called a pro version and here uh, it includes 100 participants and if you need more participants as i said that 500, you can keep uh, uh, putting in more money to them and more participants are allowed after more add up, top up is done. Then, then there's four, so those are very enterprise, those are, as you say, business and enterprise, those are for higher levels. But since you're talking on the free education level, absolutely very, very well. And so let's look at that. So back to it 40 minutes, unlimited for 40 minutes and 100 or odd 100. Now at this point I noticed that there's something very uh, lovely that has happened and that is during COVID-19 that is a pandemic which has thrown so many challenges there are so many companies so many corporate sectors who which have given a lot of things free right likewise zoom company has decided to open the, un the unlimited time for educators I repeat I just now mentioned free basic plan tablet but during covid pan pandemic time zoom has decided that those who are educators if you're an institute or they have opened up to unlimited time so that's a very beautiful aspect make the best of it it's to your advantage so you can have a one option or as much as they say that is completely unlimited time you can go ahead all right so uh, those are the things, there's a video conference feature in that, all those web conferencing or the webinars, as you say, there are all those things available and we are going to walk through that. So this was the basic on the plan. Now let's go back and let's say you got an invite for Zoom, okay? And now you have to join a meeting. As I said, we are going to look at if you've never been to Zoom and going to join the meeting. So what do you do when you, when you open the page Zoom, it also says along the plans of passive, you see on the right hand side, my cursor is going, it says join a meeting. Let's hit on that. So when I say join a meeting, it's opening up in a second. And this is a page which opens, it's, it says join. So what happens when you are sent an invite, either from your team members, your, your boss, your seniors, or whosoever that, or you are intending to attend a webinar, to upskill yourself like the way you are doing now, the way we have sent you an email or a message to ID. That's an ID number given. All have received those who are present ID and also place where you will add that meeting ID, right? And then you will say point hit join. So right now, since you have already in here, uh, and I'm sure most of you did it when you joined, it will open to a password and when you will open a password, put that password which the person who has you will then be able to enable to completely join the meeting so this is a two-step process i repeat when you get an invite there's a meeting you add the meeting id over here in this space you all that you have done is enter the browser written zoom this page opens up you write the meeting id 
say join, which you have the reason that you are here today with us, and then you put in the password. Often, often that can be situation. Sometimes you are not sent a password, and that's all possible way. You may not be sent a uh, password, and that's perfectly fine. So you just add a meeting ID, and you are able to go inside. So that's how you join. Meeting. One thing we look up as schedule a meeting. Now here we say, uh, uh, here you say you are joining a meeting to become a host. Host means that you have to conduct a meeting. Then how do you go about it? So schedule a meeting. Same. That means meeting, but not now. You want to conduct it two days later, or three days later, or two hours later. So let's look into this. What is schedule a meeting? I'm hitting. That tab, and I hope all of you are also doing likewise. Schedule a meeting. I've just hit that tab, and here it opens up. So it brings up to this thing. It join in. So when you have to schedule a meeting or host a meeting, that is a time when you need a login ID. It doesn't let you. You did join a meeting. You may not want to log in. You may choose to join a meeting without having logged in into Zoom, and that is a perfect possibility. Receive your phone or your laptop or your tab, but when you have to become a host, and that time signing is required. Like we do, uh, send an email, right? When we have to send a, uh, when to uh, do a WhatsApp or Facebook or, or Twitter or Pinterest or any of the webinar site or any of the media technology site, you always or YouTube even, we have to always sign in, become a member of that. So exactly. This email ID, and then your password. You create a password, and then and then you sign it. So I've already entered my. All right. I hope you all are with me. I'm just tapping the tab sign, and I hope to go and it's right now open in front of you. I added my email ID. I added my password, and I hope all of you are also done. I'll tell you. I'll wait. I'll take a minute of half a minute. Request you all in the Zoom. Please ensure you make a ID and and join and schedule. For that, you should have logged in into Zoom. So I will wait for two minutes, and I hope you are able to do that. An ID. If you are a new joiner, still you can add an ID, create a password. In next half a minute, I'm sure within one minute you are on this page with me. So I'm going to stop for one minute. And once you are done, I request you to back and please send me a message. Yes, done. Yes, done. Just write it over there so I know most of you or many are joined it. Okay. So I hope you are already. Yes, I can see some people sharing that it started coming the chat. Yes, I can see some hands being raised. Yes, yes, we can see the answers are coming up. Very nice. The chat is coming up. Okay, so I presume you are there with us and you have been able to sign in. Okay, great. Moving ahead, uh, another word of caution. Now that they have started with the uh, Zoom unlimited for the education purpose, the things which has also come up in the 40-minute meeting, which was a basic meeting, basic plan. They now talk about with participants or more, right? So more could be I repeat again could be 20, 25, but the bandwidth definitely does get complete. So we can do one tip. I tell you over here, and which I would request all of you to follow it right now for the meeting today. Also, have your participants request now also to all to do that. Put switch off their video. That's one great idea and one great tip and trick. And with your experience of the whole meeting in listening, in doing the things, are, are is enhanced. So requesting all the participants here. Because you need not see yourself, and neither am I am seeing myself or any one of us. At the end of the meeting, we can switch it on later if we need to talk to each other. But requesting all of you is a tip that your meeting goes a little with a better bandwidth. Okay, so we are on this page, and now we are here to schedule a meeting when you are the host. 
or you must schedule a meeting. Maybe your principal has said, okay, uh, Anita, uh, Lakbir, or whoever, the director, Lakbir, has to uh, uh, schedule with the, with the complete team to talk to them and give them a team, uh, team morale boosting. So, so maybe something of this, and you are doing it. Situation as we entered over here, you can write that uh, topic. So I'm writing over here. Um, training. Training. One. National. National level. Okay, so I've just added those things. Excuse me for the spelling because we are doing on a quicker level. Okay, online e learning training, national level. Okay, and then if you want, you can uh, put a description, but that's completely optional. So you can just happily script it. And when? So now the date is important part because you're scheduling. You can do it within the next ten minutes or in the next two days, as you as you may wish to do that. So when? 9th June, probably I can say, all right, I want to have it uh, today, 5 p.m., which is currently going on, 5 p.m. I can say, all right, I want at it, it opens up all the day time, 3 o'clock, it can tell me uh, 7 o'clock, whatever time, as you say, it also tells me whether I want a p.m. or a.m., so it gives me all those things. And here is a uh, calendar, as you see, you can have in a month of June. You can have whichever date you so wish. So this allows us to come up with the meeting details and we can schedule a meeting. We can say right now six, I can probably say July. So, okay, so I'll say done. So the same meeting probably now can be done in the July and first. Yeah, it's going to on the first July. This meeting will be held at 5 p.m. Right in front of you, we should do the open on that time. How long the meeting can be? It can be for one hour. If it is for uh, free version, 40 minutes only. After 40 minutes, please let me disconnect. So that's one thing. What another one tip that we quickly give you, and that's a, just a smart tip that you do. Would it disconnect for some? It's unlimited, but would it disconnect? You need to be smart uh, one to look what to do. Reschedule the meeting with the same ID, and you'll be back number of participants with the same teacher educator they right on so just immediately go back to the meeting and schedule the meeting once again same time same i from five to six you'll now do six to seven right you get that great so you can use those sticks you never know technology is a best friend but technology always a little dicey sometimes so we need to know what are the few as you call it the hacks so sharing those things also with you okay so we as many minutes, I let me say I can put it one hour, 30 minutes. Remember, uh, basic plan 40, educate, you know, that when you go into education plan, make sure you write your, you enter your details as a teacher, as an educator. Would you write something allow you to have those benefits, which right now Zoom is offering during the pandemic plan? We don't know how long this will last. Maybe they might uh, call it off months, six months, one year, but right now available. Okay, great. Now, there's another one aspect when we schedule a meeting, we call it a recurring example. Today is day one of our one week long uh, online e training program for all of us. And I want to hold it every, right for the next six days. I want to hold the meeting. So please look here, my cursor. Right below the time zone, it is written recurring meeting. All that I need to do, tick it. Okay. So once you tick it, what happens? You need not again and again, every day, book and scheduling details. It has said every day until July 7th. So you can uh, book over there and, and um, this thing. Um, so it has told me uh, till July 7, I can say, okay, I would like to have it July 7 or or, or I can, can say for instance, till 1st July it has told me I can let that change to another 15 days, another only two days. 
within the within the uh, time detail for the date and time. So recurring meeting is a great, beautiful feature within the Zoom. You need not go back as many days you're having the meeting time. It takes the details, and you are the master. You are the dictator of the all the controls. So so be it. So it's recurrence daily. Yes, it's recurring daily. It is weekly. So it gives you even those possible options. Choose to do whatever that you feel feel like. No fixed time. Maybe the time needs to change every day, but every Thursday, every Monday, or however you want, depending on your need. Repeat one every day, or repeat um, it every five, six, as many. Maybe you're having, let's say, you're having your classes, right? You have in three classes back to back: English class, history class, biology class, mediumics class, physics class, Python. Java, BSCIT, whichever you can say, you have three classes. All, all the three, all this, these are the options. You can say I have three classes back to back every day. These are my timing. All options available in Zoom for your benefit. Or let's say you have a music class. Next, you have a. You are also teaching a calligraphy. You are also teaching after music calligraphy. You are teaching cooking. You want to do that? Options are right here. Fantastic, great. Moving on. Now, another one very, very important aspect is meeting password, right? So it says required meeting password, and it's given a password over here. Here comes to a little concern. I would like to bring it forth to your notice. I'm sure all of you know since a while, ever since during this pandemic, when suddenly Zoom became a household name, right? Post pandemic, when it hit India, uh, in March, we came down with a lockdown and we really got to know a lot about pandemic because we were experiencing lockdown and therefore all the details. At that time, all these platforms, online platforms, suddenly spring, became a day-to-day -day occurrence of our life, especially you as an educator. I have so many webinars being held held on Zoom, Google Meet, WebEx, so many different platforms. So there came a time when there were a lot of and currently also, not only that time, from there on, the mishap really has come to a bigger scale. They've scaled up. We know there are a lot of cyber hacks happening. The security to into the best possible ways get compromised. So therefore, the government of India keeping all this in view, and there were a lot of us as well, uh, because all of us were online. All, along with the whole world went online. Suddenly, all of us converged to be an online and at the post seven. So when this happened, the cyber attacks also became a little more stronger and more often. The government of India has issued certain wish, especially for Zoom, and some of them we are going to talk about over here also. And those you need to be taking care that they said is very important when a schedule a meeting, ensure you must have a password, right? So these are the few like how we live in our Home when we are at home, is, or when stepping out, or when you are say, sleeping at night, we lock our doors, we lock our, we put a lock on our, on our windows, on our, on our grills. We say, and yet we know, having secured ourselves, still sometimes things do go wrong. There are concerns when people have the houses being broken in, in spite of the uh, action, right? So, but that still doesn't deter us from taking sure, making sure that we take care. So, likewise, we ensure controls in measure and then hope for the best because hackers are really much about beyond us they can if they wish to they can break into it but we try to be uh, adhering to the guidelines as suggested by government of india so when you are scheduling make sure put in a password generally most the meeting schedule is the meeting the meeting id and the password is uh, suggested by the by the zoom you can go by that or also write your own password, like for example, A, B, C, D, E, 112. I can 113. So you can choose to have your own password or no. That's a choice that you can keep. But I would suggest password and a meeting ID enabled. All right, moving on. So another few of the things which are part of Zoom and uh, guidelines of, uh, uh, of, of government of India is that as you see, I'm just going to skip the video portion about uh, uh, guidelines of their meeting options, right? I hope you all are there with me. 
um, enable joint before host. But generally, for the pandemic, everybody would let participants join the meeting. We call it the meeting that you have. We generally call it a call or a, a meeting. We are not call Zoom call, or we said we are in a Zoom meeting. So either one of the things. So generally, it was enabled. People could the students or the means or your team could enter the meeting room even before the host joined it. But now after the guidelines have been brought in by the government, they say do not enable this. That means if I put a tick here, I enable it, all of you today you experienced you were only allowed to enter when we opened up the meeting. Before that, all the participants except the organizers at the max skill we were in the meeting room all the part in the waiting area as we say when we go to a doctor or you go to somebody's uh, meeting somewhere in the office in the corporate sector we are in a meeting zone so here it is called a waiting room so what is suggested and adhered to be adhered by the by the guidelines of do not enable it right do not let your participants enter Till you are inside your meeting, so we'll check it out. We'll 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 disable it here. So that's one of the very important aspects. And then um, then it also says enable waiting room. So while uh, do not let the party itself, where are they going to be? So they have to be a waiting room. So if I say take it out, that means people can enter the waiting room. But as per GUI enable waiting room so people can wait in the waiting room and when you get them in you open the admit there's a term for, for admitting you'll see when you're the host on the right side something when people are waiting the waiting room there'll be a term called admit uh, in your main meeting you just need to tap will enter the waiting room and that's exactly what we did when we had you join us right and the last of the least uh, record the meeting automatically in the look very interesting feature as an educator, especially even, especially more in these given times, when you are just starting with that journey, educators are starting to be on uh, teaching online. So it's a great idea when you're giving your session, when you, when you are having a meeting or, or teaching idea that you take it here, enable it. So whatever that you have uh, they conducted in the meeting, it will get recorded. It is either in the computer or in the cloud. Now in the cloud is only available for the paid version, right? So what if I could have recorded here in the meeting now, but I've gone to another place. I've traveled city after three months or five months or six months. And I want to again use my version, what I had taken a session today and see what I went through. I want to share it with somebody. I can from my cloud, pull it out and but that's again only a feature with the paid version nevertheless not to worry we save our recording on the computer and that's perfectly fine after doing this um, now my suggestion few things i'm going back to the videos that i'm going to look here some of my hacks or tips here and that's just a uh, tip that i'm sharing with you when you are a host my suggestion is i recommend that you put your video video i've just enabled it but actually you do put your video off likewise you also put your participants video off but especially not only this there is um let's quickly let me show you yeah uh video off so why do we do that but when we are entering the meeting there are few things that we are looking soon when you will start posting uh, the meeting you'll see there are a lot of things you've looked into you have to see that the uh, waiting room is right the chat a lot of things your share screen is ready and the thing that you need to do so it's you're not ready sometimes you're not um, you're mentally there but physically you just need to um, calm down before you really go on so you don't want to see your participant if you're having a corporate meeting right or you're having a even soon you don't want to see them messy way off join a control and under your control you choose when you want your video to be on so it's very wise i my suggestion recommendation you let the video host video be off and so is uh, participant video so just eat up into the bandwidth okay so those are the few things do not forget to hit the tab 
stay otherwise this is all retired so after having done the setting please hit the tab save all these settings will get saved over here right so those are in brief all the details that you need to know about uh, what you need to do first or schedule a meeting likewise we talked about join a meeting host a meeting uh, the same thing scheduling the host a meeting just have a look the drop down on menu the video on with video off screen share only gives us three options i have my recommendation with video off right host a meeting but to that there's another one thing within the meeting you can open your uh, video setting that's definitely available so those things are available so let's look into this uh, as i was saying uh, if you don't want to uh, just want to share the screen the option is available we'll quickly look into what are the takes you there so this is done and we are good to go um so that's about it about details there's a lot of details more over here but that so now let me just quickly uh take you few things down here and see yes great um now what are um solution what is the uh, zoom meant for what is it is used for you look over here it's all the details given here right for your meet thing that you can contact your family have a social setup fun meetings corporate meetings education meetings webinars it's a co work space it brings people together and you're brainstorming and you're working as i said we just conducted a we were just a part of international conference and a, a national conference of june itself and then it also uh, it's, a, it's a market space where you can probably have a lot of chat bots but right now that's a very advanced thing. with chatbot for so education for finance and for health and many such purposes but right now we are focusing only on education sector and education moving on so uh i'm going to take you here inside and join and let's say um i you are already in a meeting i'm now going to go back to my meeting right now and say you will join a meeting just give me a moment i'm joining a meeting here and quickly can i have the meeting id please given to me in join a meeting and host a meeting then we'll quickly take a meeting id and and join uh, can i what are you inside how we are going to look at uh, the various other on uh, other de other details so right now i am looking at your main eating id and i'm going to come back to my main meeting just a second and if you see when you go down look look down within your own meeting right within your own meeting please look down if you can see over, you can see over here i on your own page within your own screen right with your own screen uh i would please look down over here the control that you have on your own screen i hope you can see the controls in your chart basically go back to your screen i'm i'm closing my uh, share this thing and i would like you to go back on your main screen just a second and it's coming up in your own page if you see the screen coming up your own page which is which has the screen with that it has a mute stop video security annotate one second it's coming up i'm just getting back over here return to meeting and i'm just stopping my share i'm stopping my share right now we have stopped my share now, now what i would like you to do i'm back in the meeting as i get joined you Fall down on your own screen. Just look down, right? What do you see on your screen? On the basic screen, on the basic plan, available to be seen. One is the number of participants, the chat box, and of course, there's a share screen option. These are the few things. Those when you go on a higher plan, that you buy a meeting, a meeting plan, a buy a pro version, then you get few more features available. Which I'll just give you a fair idea. 
But right now, uh, what our participant gives you is the name. Let me open the participant, and you can also open it along with me. Uh, bottom line, you can open the participants uh, over there. And when you see how you open the participants, uh, you will see uh, there's a name added over there. There's an icon, there's an audio icon. And in one of the icons, you can see the sound going up, down like this. What is that happening? That is I'm speaking. Whoever's speaking tomorrow, maybe a little while later, I'll, be, I'll have one of you speak. And whoever will be the speaker, the audio version goes up to them. That means they are speaking, right? And there's a host. And when you become a host, when you will become, you also have a possibility to make co-host. Now, why do we make a co-host? So it's a good idea to make a co-host simply because, let's say there's an electricity or network failure. That's the easiest thing I can talk about because the world is online. Let's say there's a network failure and suddenly you, your, your, your network meeting will end. But what will happen if you have a co-host, the meeting will be on and from that co-host, you conduct a meeting. Now, how can you become the co-host when you're the host? Good idea. Yeah, good question. And let me tell you how. Again, that's a I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk about. So my suggestion is have two email IDs enabled, right? Have two email IDs enabled, or a tab and one for your mobile. Or let's say you're having only mobile. You do not have a laptop. For some reason, it's being used somebody else. Generally in a home, home working at a home, there are generally two phones available. One of your brother, sister, mother, father, or, or your spouse. So the meet by you where you become the host and once you make your spouse or your mother or sister or brother whoever phone to that email id so it just saves safeguards that would um, the network be failing you can immediately jump up to from that continue your meeting and tell you what this does happen more than often so don't be uh, uh don't let such a surprise come to you because it can happen in in conferences, it has happened. In the best of meetings, it has happened. So be ready with that. Okay. So that's a good thing that I would suggest that you would look at. Let me quickly also take you over here. Just give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. Give me two seconds. I'm going to come back to you in a share screen. And, and uh, okay. One second. Join a Zoom meeting. And I. And yeah, can I have the meeting ID please shared with me? I'm to come and I'm going to join in from another meeting ID so I can show there. Give me a moment. I'm just joining up from another e e e uh, email uh, from another meeting. Eight nine five zero five four two eight seven eight eight. Just a second. I've just Put in, and now I'm going to open the Zoom meeting, and it's coming back. It's going to come up to here. In one second, it's coming up. Meeting controls, and I'm joining here. Uh, click dialog. It says run Zoom, but I am into Zoom. Just a second. Open Zoom meetings, launching here. Okay, uh, I'm I'm here. See me there. Please put a word over here if you can see me in the launch meeting of the next, second meeting that I've joined in. Yes, I'm joining in here, and let me see if you can see me. Uh, the, to go into the control. Okay. Okay. So this is how I can join the meeting from from the base file, and it can help me. This is what the share I wanted to show you. This is on the right side. What you can see the share, and uh, from here. If 
expect people to share the share the meeting. So I hope you could see me. This is the point I wanted to show you that how do you get to show uh, the the share thing. So on the uh, on the time another meeting, and I zoomed it. The, the, and I launched the meeting here. It also allows me to start sharing right from one meeting to another meeting since we can't open on the same computer. I'm just attempting to show you what share would look like that I'm trying to make, right? So this is what the share is looking like. Let me see if I can get the whiteboard remote control. Um, my spotlight, right? Because somebody said they could not see here. So on the share and I'm putting it off now. I'm coming back to the main screen and we are going to talk about more, more details over there. So when we come back to over here, I'm joining the main tab and coming back in a second to you people. And we are going to talk about the other thing that Zoom can possibly do. With us. How can we enter the share? This is what I'm. That was my. I was trying to show you. I'm coming out of my stop share. So now we're going to talk about what a sharing screen. That's a very very important aspect, and you all need to know it. And I'm sure all of you, or on the on laptop or on the tab, you can see on the bottom, bottom part of your screen, the tab for share screen. What what does it mean? Any content that you want to show to your students, it could be a, uh, it could be a video, it could be a file, it could be uh, another site. Whatever that you may need to show show the student, you can quickly tap on the share screen. What I did right from the beginning, you know, and go to the. It, when we tap it over here, uh, let me show you. I'm going to tap it right now, but let me give you a briefing. It will open to the things that you want to share you want to show to your students or to your meeting peers it could be a syllabus it could be a, 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 a ppt right almost only one thing you have to take care of. now what is that when you share your screen before that there's some preparation that has to be made before that everything kept open what does that mean in your browser if you got a ppt or on your desktop you should have kept it Enter the share screen and then go and then try to access your PPT. It doesn't work that way. If you had to open a file or to show to your students, it should first preempt, keep it ready, keep it open, and then when you will touch your screen, you will see those things. So, in share screen, there's another one concept called whiteboard. I'm going to take you to that. So, two things happen in share screen. What? A file, a website, any content that you want to show has to be earlier kept ready. And when you share the screen, it opens up there. You can continue to show your PPT one by one. You can keep scrolling it. Second thing that happens is there's a whiteboard on which, if you wish, you can build in your in your uh, Zoom meeting, which I'm going to do now, and you can use those controls to write, draw or take text on that. So that's what we are going to look at. Moving on to share screen in a second and a request. Those who are on the hands-on training right now, please hit the tab share screen. All right. I'm taking a minute off till you go back to your share screen and, and you are to meet there. Okay. I'm going to come back to the share screen and I would like you to look into a few things. So I hope you are there. I will have tagged this thing and I'm going to quickly join you in a second. And look into the share screen. So we are entering the share screen now. After you do that, keep your at least one thing ready, whether it's a PPT or a file, whichever that you like to show to your student now. And before you open your uh, share screen, keep it ready. 
then open your shared space is, the, is what I request, okay? So uh, do I hope you are doing that and we are going to hit it and we are going to, uh, and while I do it, you're also going to look into how you're able to see the thing that you would like to show your students. Great. So I'm coming back over here. And who? Few things which could be interesting to look or share the screen. Okay. So, well, we are here. And add very interesting feature of the share the screen. And there's something more that also I would actually want to show you. And if time permits, I would like to go down to virtual room. To virtual room, there's a there's a concept. There's a uh, there's breakout room with with you. So bear with me, and I'm going to come back to you in a second to look into what else we can do with. And okay, we are coming back to you, and here we are, and then the share screen. So, are are you ready to go with my share screen? Please, can you all uh, can you all uh, enter? We're entering our share screen, and what you can the screen is my Google Drive, right? So we all know we all have uh, Google Drive and you are enabled on uh, email. Uh, I have a lot of uh, stuff that are things that are kept on your Google Drive. So would you want to share any details over there? You can, you should have kept it. Keep it, keep it uh, let's say if I have something like this um, and then I want to share my screen with them and I want to show um, stuff like this I can probably ping it over there and show the screen if I want to show some uh, things that I, I, I want to show a question, a question to students right I can probably bring it up over here like it's coming up right now in front of you and this is a research paper discussion we had our students and say how do you write a research paper so this is the abstract uh, this we go down right here uh, we generally take a session on the good aspects of we conduct that generally in one of our webinars. So we discuss how you go writing a research paper, the objective, the literature review, all those things. You're discussing graphic and uh, the details and so on and so forth. So all those things have to be kept ready. Uh, another one thing that could also possibly happen in this, I would like to show you. Um, okay. I'm coming you to, I'm going to, uh, let's say if I have a YouTube video, then how can I enable showing the YouTube videos to my students? And I want to video that is coming up and then we can probably, let's say I'm talking about, we just had Father's Day, okay? Father's Day. Um, Father's Day. And we come up with something like Father's Day and we can show them the video is also there through this thing. So what I'm saying you, all these things are possible. All they are possible once you have entered your uh, Google screen and uh, oh, one second. Okay. Another one aspect that you can so what I've opened over here, very, very interesting, because I would suggest, uh, I'm not going to go details into this. I've opened something very interesting for all of you to see. A teaching environment, who are taking landscapes, architects, or, 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 or basically the, uh, the constructor talks. So environment, so many more things that you can do. You can actually use this. Go on Google or through your shares enable Google Earth and you can right now I'm not going to details I'm sure all of you know how to do the Google Earth you can launch the Google Earth and show them you can go across South India you can go a specific your city 
you can do all those things and you know you can these are the mountains being showed le ladakh whether i'm there or which be you can have the freedom the choice to the google earth you can box them with there and show a lot of things and that's a very increasing experience what we call student engagement this is one of the key things that happens the world is yours the online world use it and probably you can dive deep into it and create situations in which uh, uh, people can experience the best of things you can show so you can show uh, galaxies and a lot of new things that you can talk about so it's left to you as you the educator what you would like thank you so i uh, just i uh, just wanted you to have a peep into this world that the google earth is amazing whenever i have done this our students have already gone back with the weather they are second grader eighth grader 12th or university student depending on the subject depending on what you are trying to talk about use these modalities and they work out fantastic so right now google earth is launching but i will not wait time over there i'm hitting back again to uh, main screen and uh, starting off this so this is a youtube video this is a google earth experience this is my uh, drive you could have content in your drive files syllabus question paper discussion all the things that you have so various various things that you saw that we could do now coming again uh, what i would like to see uh, sh show you is there something as a possibility of a poll i would uh, quickly show you what is the feature actually enabled with a uh, um, with a pay version but a very interesting feature so student engagement becomes there so um, can i have the poll enabled in 2 minutes we can get a poll enabled i'll show you i will put up a poll for you for you to experience that basic version you cannot do it but definitely would your when your classes grow we are also looking at times when you are going to grow and your your experience is going to be bigger and then you can uh, definitely look into uh, creating these situations and have the poor uh, poll conducted it's a very nice your and also to understand what your student did you uh, you can on based on if you are teaching advertising so what are the new advertising agencies and which are the strategies that they for is a pain strategy is what you can conduct a poll on any one of the topics that you are teaching and it's a amazing student engagement idea and of course our poll too all right so uh the poll is going to come up meantime coming back to you in a second and while we do that the for very quickly there's another one feature that uh, uh is uh, is talked about as a uh, breakout rooms uh breakout rooms again is a the free for the paid version but i would like to tell you about it because it's a very interesting feature now what is breakout room let's say um you to be discouraged oh well it's not a basic then why do we do it you always have to grow right basic could be a start in your trap in your education journey but maybe your 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 parameters your growth will grow so bigger that soon you'll say oh, right i'm happy to buy a next plan which is just 14 point not really expensive and there you get all these possibilities of lot of features so they got from what happened that there was a class and in the class uh, you want to have a, a brainstorming session whether a class or a meeting or a conference right so in that you say you have 20 participants in the meeting you can say all right you are the host now i'm going to send you with the theme to discuss and uh, uh, Okay, calling. So, uh, uh, so you when the breakout room would enable you when you will say, "I'm going to breakout room." So, how do you go into the breakout room? I'll just show you that, which is the possibility because it's not going to be on the basic plan. But I'm going to come back to you again with my share screen. Okay, uh, we are coming up the poll, so I'll just show you in a minute. But I'll, but I tell you with what has happened. One second. go that uh, do you want to continue i'm going to stop another screen being shared yes uh, so i'm going to take you into my other meeting that may let me put this off quickly putting all the tabs off because too many tabs on my so what happens 
when you are in the main meeting um, i'm just going to join back the meeting again zoom and i had come back as a yeah so i uh, join a meeting we announced we had joined a meeting a while back uh, just quickly give me a second i'm joining a meeting once again and i'm going to show you over there when you do that how you can go to the big cartoon you can just understand the concept and when you will come to that level you can probably use it give me a minute from once again from another id i'm coming to you open zoom meetings so what happens when you no it's not at uh, letting me come up in the same meeting i cannot come in okay so one second i'll probably come up with another plan to it just a second zoom and so what so what we can do is all right um host a meeting okay webinar just getting a uh, details of this thing with you and um room management here we have a and we are going to see the calendar one second schedule them meeting and webinar right okay um uh, host a meeting and the the basic is not coming up right now we are looking at our setting and the settings over here so what happens in the setting when you go by there is a setting in which it tells you to look at to here i think of the main page and you go down down scrolling i hope you are looking at the settings and we are going scrolling right down and here you see coming to the lower bottom yeah um still further down still further down yes 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 where it is from browser one six okay yeah 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 right yeah so here are the breakout rooms just a second i'm getting my um spotlight back for you so you can hear can be written over here where is this when you will schedule a meeting when you are logging in the page to schedule a meeting the main page on side there is a cog called setting you will just tap the setting and go scrolling down you saw me scrolling down completely lower and almost the third you will find this room called breakout room right so what does the breakout room do you have to do uh, allows host to split the meeting participant so many of the things it can be used for as i said uh, when you are conducting a brainstorming session with your colleagues maybe you want to say okay with the area times how do we conduct exam so let everybody give an idea on an exam so then your principal says everybody go into different rooms come back with and the whole meeting of 30 40 50 people are divided into as many rooms so when you do this over here breakout rooms you enable it can you see over here what you need to do is to enable it you have to open it up once you open it up it enable it enables the comes zoom you don't have to do anything except ensure this is enabled right so once this is enabled you are ready and to now basically go back to your zoom and when you have the zoom enable so that i'm show you two meetings on my uh, one 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 the theory part of it 
when this is open and when you are in the zoom meeting with the enable part you can say breakout rooms open open it for you when this is open and you can immediately divide your participants into four rooms five rooms the zoom does it for you you just tap this button on and the and and you and you put it tap on it and when that time you fix the time also when for the meeting and the room three rooms two rooms five rooms dividing all the participants equitably into different rooms so that is just a brief on breakout rooms and i want to do this is a, a concern one thing another thing i would like you to show you is annotate i hope you can see annotate in your in your thing great thing uh, you can see the zoom now uh, annotate probably i will tell you what it is um it is in goals if you do all of i would request i'm going to actually open the meeting um i'm going to pause my share and what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about annotate which is based on when you will share when you meeting and you will share your screen there will be a floating menu i hope you can do it as soon as you finish a meeting right now and you can all do it right now from yourself i we will allow you to do it because right now we have put it on a block let me allow you to do that okay um so i am allow participants to enter okay now you will see that on your screen there is a there is a uh, floating menu can you all see see that there is on your screen on your screen can you see, you can you can all, all take a pencil on your screen there is a small pen pencil again on the right left hand side and you can take that yes i can see so many of you already writing somebody can say yes can somebody say drawing keep drawing exactly this is exactly what i wanted this is called annotation important fun feature but getting experience when you don't want this to happen so what happens is when you are doing this and when you are sharing which you can't see right now but when you will share i can quickly say clear all drawing all gone right i can clear all drawings i can clear keep writing i want all notation experience please experience it and uh, do as much the annotate on that uh, the, the pencil on the right hand side okay and there you will also have another remote control to open on this i'm going to clear it and i'm going to say yes clear all all drawing now can we all stop drawing it in a moment i'm going to show you what else you can do over this but i'm going to uh, disable try to and you see you are not able to because i have disabled from where do you get disabled when you are sharing your screen there'll be a floating low down which you are not able to see i know because right now i i am in my sharing screen and it is on my i can't show you two meetings on my phone but when you will do it you will see that floating menu and on the right hand side there will be something like called more and which you will be able to do your annotation with uh, let me see what else you can do uh, now annotate is required for what purpose let so i'm again resuming my share screen and i'm entering the whiteboard remember we spoke we talked about we're going to show you the whiteboard in the um, in this thing i go let me see if you are in the whiteboard can you you can still be in the zoom uh soon you are going to be jumping in the whiteboard for just a second i'm coming back to meeting and the whiteboard is jumping over here and let me see. can you see the three things that are coming up over here uh can you just show by what the screen is coming i'm stopping the share once again and i'm going to resume i'm going to show you the whiteboard now how do i show the whiteboard and how do you see the whiteboard 
for share, I'm entering my share screen, you'll be able to see the whiteboard and the whole function of annotation can be done over there, right? So okay, when you are sharing the screen with your students, you have to disable annotate. How do you disable annotate? When you will share the screen, bottom of the screen of your laptop, a uh, control come annotate. Tap or tap on the annotate more and the floating menu is disable participant annotation. So if you see now, if you are trying to draw now, you are not able to because I have, I want my students to write, talk, uh, uh, draw over there. I can, I can let them do it by, by again, canceling them for you. And I want you to do it right now uh, with the whiteboard. I've come back with the whiteboard. Uh, am I with the whiteboard? Can everybody see? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Now in the whiteboard, in that floating menu, I'm going to open the text comes up. I can actually write, um, I can actually write the, the, it, the, the is beautiful, right? You can actually write in your, or from the keyboard, so whatever that you want to write, you can actually from the keyboard, out of the menu that will be shown from one, since you're on the Zoom now, but I'm describing all the details. When you will enter your share screen, the, the there will be another one menu which will pop up. And on the whiteboard, you can actually write the complete text as is visible to you, what I'm writing right now, right? So what I can write, um, and you can again write, uh, you, can, you can draw it. If I want to draw, you can draw this. If you see, I can draw I, or whatever that I need to draw. So anything that needs to be drawing. And how do I clear it? I can, here there's another menu which I take clear drawing. It will help you look at this. Then there's another one thing which is called stamping. There's an arrow. Let's say you have, a, you have something detailed being shown. And write about this. And uh, the mountain. And you can pound point over there. And over here, another text. Le Lada. Right? So whatever that you want to show, you can use the... the Lord, how do you see it? I repeat, when you will share the screen, you will enter your share the screen. There will be a whiteboard scene which you are right now experiencing it. With a floating menu will show on the whiteboard, but that can only be done when you are sharing the screen. After my session is done, please do that right now. And let's say I want to, there's a, there's a, there's a eraser. I can rub this off. There's an eraser. I can rub the menu or I can, uh, uh, I can, to talk about what I am talking about. See, this is a spotlight which is also available in that. And then I can say, um, I can probably draw, there's a star. So would I want to put some stars in the thing that I'm talking, I should highlight some details. I can use a star. Uh, there, uh, there, there are some versions of, um, let me just show you. Under the drawing also, there are some more versions. I can draw and highlight something. And and then trim this and then write my words over here. So it helps a lot of ways you can use to create a blackboard. Remember a white board and a, and a pen in the classes, physical classes. This is a whiteboard. It helps you to do that. So share, I'm coming back to you. I'm clearing this as a clear screen, which will help clear my drawings. And if you have done it, it also allows me to clear the participant drawing. That's a, that's a student's drawing. I'm coming and I'm, um, uh, I'm stopping my share. So I'm back here. So quickly to talk about things. Sharing screen allows me as an educator to share. If you want your students also to have a presentation, you can let your the share for the participant. How? In the main setting. Remember on the first page when we entered in the Zoom, the main setting, there's a setting with the enable participant. Generally, when you're doing a conference or teaching the lecture, please do not allow your student to share. Otherwise, what happens? 
a lot of Zoom meetings we have experienced. The, the teacher is showing and suddenly the, teacher, the student can run any other kind of a share which may not be uh, uh, the best thing to do. At time disabled, only when you have a student participation presentation, your team member presentation to be done or a breakout room participant presentation participant to share another one thing what you need to do is under the government and anything is uh, make sure waiting room is not let the host uh, join it come after the participants have joined it next thing under the share screen again whiteboard or chalk and duster or, or the white pen that is used so those are the few student engagement right so when we say we are taking the session interesting show them a zoom show them a YouTube video show them some drawings through the annotation period annotation and a lot of drawing features are there when you do it you will enjoy it in fact we have young kids who love to play with annotation work there are so many features in that you can play with it draw do things like that right and and then there are also as I said you I showed you Google Earth there's so many more features you can show through that Show them videos and those are the way and as I said if you buy a fair version with the polls to also have a student engagement right now because of time factor stop over here and the quick revision enter zoom we saw, so we saw how to schedule a meeting how to have a recurring meeting done how to, and uh, uh, and also when, when when we said how you can probably use the screen for student engagement it's all about sharing screen, going deep into that through your drive, through your computer, adding images, Google Earth, whatever that actual engagement. But be careful, chat, you can have a chat over there, but the chat should be disabled when you're having a serious session, like right now, when the children, especially if they're young or they're elderly, uh, when they're even 20, they can write any stuff. So hold them on a disabled chat. Later on, the question answer. So those are the few things to get you starting off on a e-teaching, e-learning session. That's all from my end. Just can study and learn and you can spend two days docking Zoom. But this is for the good to go, good to start and not only start but a little better than study learning, e-teaching, Zoom experiences for all your teaching assignments, teaching as enablement for you as an educator. Uh, I open my chat for any kind of questions from you. We are here to uh, attend to the questions. Can you be? Yeah. Uh, so, one the host record the meeting. Yes, the host only should record the meeting. Would the participant want to record the meeting? They have to take a permission, and that's it. The host can attend the meeting, and can and basically uh, a meeting can be uh, can be done. It host has disabled share screen. Yeah. We do get the second screen end. Um, okay. Uh, then there's a question on the recurring meeting. What if the recurring meeting schedule can not have schedule? How do we change that? Sorry, I didn't get that question. This is from Ambika. Ambika, you have a question. A question on recurring meeting. What if the recurring meeting cannot happen? How do we do it? Change that. Okay, no problem. That's not an issue at all. In case your recurring meeting schedule has changed, you just cancel that. You just cancel one day meeting that's all you just disable the recurring meeting and you go on a daily schedule that's how you do it any other questions please feel put question tab how can we keep participant mute tab mode very very important i'll tell you how to do it and it's very important uh, down in your screen that you are in you can see the security tab over there participants chat and security hit the security tab and there are two features rename themselves that's another one important feature so when you enter zoom let's say you entered through your uh phone and it is written sanjeev's email sanjeev's name but you are rakesh you zoom allows you to rename themselves all that means hit on where you have entered in your participant's name please do that open the pattern list against your name it says more please you are allowed to as simple as that. What did I do? What did I explain? To change your name, open the participant 
participants list, whatever your name is, I can see Dr. Uh, many more people over there. So against your name, yes, Dr. Shivanand, you can just change your name over there. Dr. Vinod Kumar is there with the, another one thing I would like to say is in the participant, there's a feature at the bottom as a host. You can see mute all. Just hit that, it gets muted. A much, much needed thing when you are teaching a serious assignment. Okay, we have Dr. Azra here, Anita Ghob. We share one more thing with you just in the last one second. In the, in the screen over here, you can have many to view or a speaker's view. So speaking, as I showed you that, that signal audio goes up and down. So just to do it right, there's a, there's a gallery view. If you hit on this, see, now all of us are on the gallery view. I can see so many. So as I said, on a basic mode, around 100 participants can be there. On a paid best enterprise mode, 1,000 people can imagine that thousand people in one given meeting can be there zoom allows that right fantastic and this is the gallery mode where i can see more Africa, nikita shireen shushma dr padma singh uh, uh i have dr vinod kumar dr shivanand as I said. okay i can see somebody here which is a mobile uh which is one h x5 so so what i suggest is i can see you there in the video you can also just change your name and you'll be done. So Neil Bhatt, Ritu, Anita. So a lot of people, beautiful people, lovely. I hope you have had an interesting session to get you rolling and starting off your journey. Dr. P. Mataya, Prachi, Vedeka, Deepa Hirani, great to have you. Sapti, Baldev, Dr. Sunita, great people, wonderful. Meena, all of you. So we hope you have had an interesting session to understand going online and start teaching learning through zoom so i'll end my session here if there are any more questions i'm happy to take that yeah so any more questions from my technical team are there any more questions please sorry um people can unmute can you can you keep record of attendance it's a bad logo So um, I'm back over here and we are signing off now. And if you have any more questions that you please like to show in here, um, how we can see, how can the host record the meeting? The record button is always at the bottom of the screen. The moment you start, go on, on uh, touch the record button, your meeting is recorded. Another one thing that I would like to tell you on a paid